Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Out here at Mohican State Park, Park and Pack site number five. Uh, it's a really good one that is all in this uh, like piney area. A lot more diverse than the last little camp out I did. Not really doing true backpacking, just parked about a half mile away. I'm gonna do a little camp out here, make a fire, make some food, and tomorrow morning probably gonna go do a little section of trail that I've been wanting to do. It's the Hemlock Gorge Trail. It's a really pretty section. It goes by the Mohican River. It's one of my favorite trails here. Right now I'm just gonna get set up, uh, start processing wood. I got some decent dinner tonight, some <laughs> something a little bit more fun than just chicken and rice. It's cold, it's cold out right now, probably uh, 30 something it's gonna drop into the 20s probably but we will see rock in the fanny pack again today and yeah let's get started all right got the uh shelter all set up. This is the Six Moon Designs to Shoots tarp. I have the bug net, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it yet. I really am just itching to sleep out in the open air, uh, just sleep under a tarp. I, I haven't done it yet this year because it's been kind of buggy still. And uh, I'm just going to gauge it uh, by like when the sun goes down tonight. Uh, when I shine my headlamp around, you can see all the sparkles in the in the leaves and the, the grass and everything and every time you see that reflection that's like spider eyes so you can take your headlight and look around at night and just kind of gauge like how many spiders and stuff there is around i'm not seeing hardly any bugs right now so that's a good thing probably gonna sleep under it like this i brought a ground sheet from another tent i'll throw in there uh, with my sleeping pad and my quilt but yeah i'm gonna take my stuff up up here by the fire pit and uh lay it all out the stuff tore apart and uh start getting some wood so I really wanted to uh, pack out the Waymark gear mile bag here a little bit more than I did last time. So I had this thing packed pretty much to capacity. I mean, I had stuff shoved in there. Um, just a little bit bigger gear, a little bit more food and whatnot. Weighed in at 20 pounds with water, food, everything. So it's still not bad. And it rode really comfortably for a non uh, framed pack. So. It was good. Kind of regretting bringing my backpacking chair now because there's a really nice log here that someone even notched out. My seat, sit pad would have fit in there perfect. The good thing about bringing a uh, Helinox uh, camping chair like I have is I can move it wherever I want depending where the smoke is blowing and I can get as close or far away as the, uh, from the fire that I want. So it's, it's never inconvenient to carry that thing but uh, yeah, this would be an okay site if I only had the sit pad. All right, so uh, this will take like 30 seconds here. Rundown of what I brought. 20 degree sleeping bag again. Same one I brought last time, the Hammock Gear Econ Quilt. This log is wet on my butt. <laughs> I got the Thermo, or not the Thermo S, the Nemo Tensor sleeping pad here. See, I'm gonna see how this does in the same temperatures uh, that it camped in last time. Uh, with the climate, I felt cold air coming through that, so I wanted to test the Nemo out with the same quilt in about the same temperatures to see how they compare. Um, so I have the, the bug net for the tarp if I so choose. I have a footprint from a North Face tent, a ditty bag, a saw, basic same stuff I brought on the last trip. A little bit of alcohol with my alcohol stove, titanium pots, koozies, not a whole lot of stuff on here. Uh, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be cooking tonight. So in my food bag here, I brought some like decent food, apple, oranges, Nutri-Grain bar, I brought uh, not a whole lot of junk except for the main course which is whole pack of bacon. <laughs> Seven servings. This is so much sodium. 300 milligrams per serving. That's like over 2100 milligrams of sodium <laughs> in this whole pack of bacon. Also, I stopped and got some really good noodles uh, on the way here. I didn't want this much. This was the smallest container they had. Normally they have tiny ones, but this was $2.66 and this is like a lot. So I have bacon and noodles. Not a very healthy dinner by any means, but it's gonna be freaking good. Last time I came out, I regretted not cooking on the fire. Got that covered. I also regretted not bringing any beer. Got a couple uh, Voodoo Ranger Imperial IPAs on this one. 
So uh, I'm excited about this one. It's a uh, 3:47 right now. It gets dark about 5:30, so not a lot of sunlight um, right now. Since I'm already set up, I'm just gonna work on fire. I'm not gonna mess around with anything small, anything on the ground that I think is wet. I'm tired of getting wet wood. So I just went and got a pretty big tree that was leaning up against another one. It wasn't touching the ground at all, so it was pretty dry. And this is a hole that it processed down to. <laughs> like it is not gonna go very far. I thought it was gonna last longer than that. But I got my real tiny stuff, medium, a little bit bigger. And then over here is my pile of logs. But I really wanted to see like all processed down, all that wood that I got, how much I got and it's not a lot <laughs> but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing going now I'm gonna use these little fire starters they're uh, like cotton uh, covered in wax or something they actually smell really good but you just kind of break it and then twist them up and then it exposes all the fluff in there and then I don't know if I should do this with gloves on it might make my gloves flammable but I'll save that guy for later <laughs> I can get it going here. There we go. And I just stick my whole thing up top. Been working hard. Haven't <laughs> stopped since I got here. Just gonna crack one of these Voodoo Rangers open. I got two of them. They are uh, one pint each, so save one for dinner, drink one now. Once this fire burns down, this fire pit has got a grill right here, a big grate. And uh, I'll probably flip that over and sanitize it and just throw my bacon on there to cook, sanitize it. Oh, 
first hole, first hole in the hoodie. <laughs> I'm like a foot away from this fire though. It's one thing you gotta be prepared for is burning holes in your outdoor clothing if you're playing with fire like I do. It's one of the reasons why I kind of like this. I don't like wearing my puffy jacket around the fire. I've done good for years and not got any burn holes in that thing. This, I'm just less scared of it burning because even if I get a little hole in it, it's not gonna lose all its insulation like a down jacket would. So if you can see, I got the fire absolutely ripping here right now. The, the whole entire uh, fire ring is just completely full. I still have like a lot of big logs left and I just went and got another huge tree. I should be good on firewood. I don't think I'm gonna have to go get any more. But good news, I'm not seeing like a ton of bugs out here. I've, I've already seen a couple uh, little spiders and stuff, but I'm really not worried about a few. I mean, spiders is the, the thing I don't like. I don't like spiders crawling on me at nighttime when I'm sleeping. But it's really, it's just the idea of it more than them actually doing it because like what's the worst that's gonna happen if they crawl on me is I might wake up with a bug bite in the morning. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. I, I think the idea of waking up when one's actually crawling on my face like scares me more than them actually biting me. So I'm going no bug net tonight. That's awesome. So I'm just gonna be under the tarp on a footprint, sleeping pad, quilt. Um, I didn't bring a pillow. I still don't have a pillow. I haven't posted that video yet where I asked you guys what I should get. Ooh. What up, yo? What up? Okay, so it is 7.30. The fire is ready to be cooked on, so I'm gonna throw that bacon on now. Um, I feel like I have something else to say, but I can't remember because the Voodoo Ranger happens to be 9% alcohol. So I'm feeling really good right now. I already cracked into the second one. I figure if I'm thirsty for my dinner, I can just drink water, but I'm on my second Voodoo Ranger, and uh, yeah, we're gonna throw the bacon on here. I've already been um, warming up the noodles over here beside the fire. I have them just down by a hole at the bottom of the fire pit. And um, I keep stirring them up and I keep like taking samples out of the hot side. So the noodles are coming along nicely. I'll throw them on top here to get them really warmed up uh, by the end, but I'm gonna just cook bacon a couple strips at a time and eat it uh, sporadically as I go. And it's gonna be freaking good. So let's do it. I should have brought a plate. I never do. I never have anything to eat my food on. I did also burn two new holes in my Helinox Chair Zero. So now we're up to three holes on that. And uh, yeah, that's okay though. Look at this. <laughs> oh, you guys are missing out. Throw my noodles on there too a little bit. Warm them up a little bit quicker. Does anybody have a, a napkin I can borrow? Um, I seem to have misplaced mine. Oh yeah, the noodles are steaming now. They're looking really good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I am really excited for this. I burn bacon a lot and it's gonna be perfect today. All right, we're gonna taste test a little bit of this. That was perfect. Oh, why is bacon so much better in the woods? <laughs> so good, oh my gosh. I need to get it off the fire so I don't burn it, but I don't know where to put it. Hmm. <laughs> That's me, Mr. Unprepared. I like it though. I've said in so many videos the variable changes, things that go wrong that you don't know will go wrong and you have to troubleshoot and figure out how to do things. Like, I purposely put myself in those situations. Like you guys see in almost every video, I always forget things. I always procrastinate packing. I always don't quite bring everything I need and it's like kind of on purpose half the time. Like, it's not like I intentionally forget things, but I just 
don't fully look things through because I enjoy the experience of figuring things out. Ah, oh, so good. You're done. You're done. You're definitely done. Oh, you know, you don't want to be sit there. You want to be eaten. I got a nice grill set up here right now. The, the side over here is really cold. This side's super hot. So friggin' good. <laughs> I don't have a plate, so all my done pieces I just keep throwing up top here so that I don't get too burnt. I'm gonna go to bed with a full belly tonight. So whenever I set up my sleep system over there, I'll show you guys how I set it all up and everything. Tarp camping or camping without a bug net, per se, is something that really scares a lot of people. Um, I always get comments about that too, about how it's like just torturing yourself and, and stuff. It is such a cool feeling when you're sleeping in the woods with even not a bug layer between you. It feels night and day difference than sleeping in a tent. It really, really does. Um, it's just one of those things that I feel like everybody needs. If, like, if you camp in the woods and you really like nature, like you need to experience it. It's really, really cool. I think uh, at least like if you do winter backpacking, if you do backpacking in the snow, there's not going to be spiders and stuff crawling around in the snow at least go without the bug net in the winter time. It's so good. Let's put some bacon in there. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're doing that. I can't believe I'm gonna eat all this. <laughs> this is so much food. All right, check, check this out bacon noodles as you see the snot dripping from my nose mm. that's so good I'm a pretty bad cook it's not that I'm like horrible <laughs> I just I mean I kind of am but I don't try a lot I feel like if I really try to be a good cook I could I just put no time and effort into it. Okay, so I ate an entire pack of bacon, <laughs> seven <laughs> servings, uh, and however many servings that those noodles were. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so this is the footprint to my North Face Flint two tent, two person tent. It's got grommets on the side, I can stake it down. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna throw it in here. Nemo Tensor, always a comfortable night's sleep. Like I said, I've had problems with it in the past. It's not typical, I guess. I mean, I thought it was. I thought I read a lot of reviews on people saying they have holes in them, but when I put a video up with that everybody said that they have no problems with them so who knows okay oh i can use my bug net as a pillow too let's go ahead and throw that in there a good little pillow I don't need much and honestly I sleep with a really flat pillow normally so that's okay so I'm probably gonna get in here and get ready for bed the fire's still burning a little bit but I'm just gonna kind of keep my eye on it here uh, just kind of enjoy the sights and the sounds of sleeping open air concept tonight so excited about this this is cool I haven't seen any spiders too uh, I saw some earlier but like like the leaves and everything, it's uh, everything's kind of wet, um, but I don't see like any bugs at all, which is, it's weird because I know they're out other areas, but certain campsites, certain places, um, you don't see them. But anyway, just going to get into bed. Um, I'll update you guys in the morning, let you know how I slept. Did I have to blow up the Nemo <laughs> uh, two or three times during the night tonight? I'm going to say probably, but we'll see. And will I stay warm? I don't know. 
we'll see. We're gonna do a little hike in the morning, get some coffee in to start that off good. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. So see you guys in the morning. Good morning, puffy-eyed Bryce coming at you. Slept pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what it is with this sleeping pad, but it held air and was great last night. I didn't blow it up at all. I just have to really make sure I get this valve shut properly. That's got to be what it is. I was very, very careful last time I used it and it, it leaked air and I had to blow it up and I kept having to shut it over and over again and it wouldn't hold and now it's holding so apparently you just got to be super careful with it which I really was so it, I'm not convinced that I can ever get it to do it on command everything worked out good super uh, warm for the most part I'd, I'd say I felt the air come through the sleeping pad on my back a couple times during the night but not bad um, I was warmer than I was on my last trip and it was about four degrees colder at its coldest point. So it's 31 degrees right now, so one degree below freezing and it dropped to 30 uh, overnight. The average was 30 all night long. So pretty morning out right now and I don't want to get out of bed. Breakfast today is Quaker oatmeal, bananas, and cream. I'm in no rush today, so I'm just gonna like eat my breakfast and probably lay down and take a little nap. Like I, I literally have nothing to do until the afternoon today. Just gonna take my time packing up, getting out of here, no rush, and then I'm going to do the Hemlock Gorge Trail here at Mohican. So it's a really, really pretty trail that runs along the river. out on the trail today. I'm really, really happy my sleeping pad worked last night. So it's user error, apparently I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, I mean, I didn't do anything different than I normally do, but it held air last night, so that makes me happy. And also, this is uh, the regular wide version, so regular length and the uh, wide. You can't go wrong with the wide, I feel like. If you're not worried about a couple uh, ounces extra, go with the wide. It gives you nice wiggle room on there. Never once felt like I was falling off that thing or uh, didn't have enough arm space to my sides. It was really, really nice. Also the Deschutes tarp, that's, that's why I got the two-piece system. A lot of people ask me why I didn't get the uh, Six Moons Lunar Solo, which is essentially the exact same thing except the tarp has the floor and the bug net built into it. It's all one system, but I like the, uh, what's the word for it? I don't know, I can't think of it, it's too early. Uh, I like the multi-use of the Serenity net tent and the Deschutes. It's, it's just like it's super light system. It doesn't uh, take many more ounces to have that bug net on me, even if I'm not planning on using it. It's just nice to have the option to go bug, let, bug net less, bug net less, bug net less. Really cool campsite down here, campsite number five. Like this one, it's pretty quiet most of the time. All right, out here on the Hemlock Gorge Trail, 
follows right alongside of the big Mohican River here. I love this trail. This is um, my favorite trail in the park, pretty sure. It's, it's kind of hard to uh, incorporate this in bigger backpacking loops. Uh, the park and pack sites just aren't quite easily accessible from this area. You can, uh, if you're staying at like sites uh, 8, 9, 10, which are up here on the top of the gorge, you can loop around using this trail. But I will say that if anybody uh, is just coming to Mohican to do some day hikes, or if you just want to see what Mohican really has to offer, I feel like um, this is just a good little day hike. It's just a, a nice, fun trail for the whole family. You can park like at the covered bridge and just walk the uh, paved road all the way past all the uh, the pay, like the car camping campsites, and then it turns kind of into the Hemlock Gorge Trail. So this is really cool. They built a suspension bridge on this trail that goes across Mohican River. Now I'm pretty sure there was like no way to get across this uh, in this area in the years past. I mean this is, you can tell by the wood, this is pretty new. Mohican State Park Cable Bridge, May 19th, 2021. So this is pretty much brand new, like six, six months old. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I wonder where this goes to. I don't know if it has a... Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's a swinger. Wow. This is neat. I don't know if this connects to a, a trail over here. Yeah, there's a trail over here. I don't know what trail that is. I don't think I've ever hiked that one. I'll have to come out here and do that one of these days. This is cool though. It is a bouncy bridge. <laughs> it reminds me of the suspension bridge at uh, Red River Gorge. It's um, a little bit shorter than that one, a little smaller. But this is cool. I wonder what trail this is. This is a cool trail too, just runs right alongside the river. Hmm. I'll have to look at the map. I don't know, some of these trails might not be on the maps. Mohicans. Maps are absolutely terrible. All right, so I'm gonna turn around here. I am 2.65 miles in, so that'll make like a, a little five mile jaunt here in the morning. I'm almost, maybe not almost, I'm probably about a half mile or so away from uh, the end of this trail. Really all the cool parts are down at the beginning here where I was. I mean the whole thing's cool honestly. Yeah, I just stopped and had a chat with a dude named David. He was pretty cool out here trail running. We had a good little chat about uh, all the good trails to run around here. It's funny every time I see trail runners when I'm on uh, backpacking trips it just makes me want to drop the pack and go for a run. I think I like trail running more than I like backpacking. It's just one of those things. It's just so much faster and more efficient. I mean, I love backpacking and there's nothing cooler to me than like carrying everything I need on my back. It is such a cool feeling. Like my favorite feeling on the trail is when I wake up in the middle of nowhere and I don't know where I'm gonna sleep that night, but it's gonna be in the middle of nowhere again after a long day of miles and miles. It's just a really cool feeling. Just so many variables, so many things to uh, figure out where your water stops are gonna be, what you're gonna eat. Make sure you're taking care of your muscles and everything. Just a really cool experience. Running's just a lot easier. You just pretty much take nothing except for your running shoes and your watch and go. Unless it's hot, then you definitely need water. Enjoying the hike out here. Super pretty trail. I can't believe I haven't taken this hoodie off yet. It is pretty cold out. I wanna say it's still below freezing. Plus I'm walking like super, super slow. I'm not um, in a hurry to get anywhere. I'm not overheating yet. And I kinda keep stopping and taking pictures and videos and stuff, so. This, there's a tra this trail where that covered bridge goes over here. It still runs all the way down. I, it probably connects to where the cabins and the campsites are. 
uh, down at that end. Uh, there's also a bridge down there. But I want to know where it connects to, or if it connects to anything, uh, down by like the covered bridge. That's definitely a trail I need to come down and check out. I know almost all the trails in the area here. There is one other little section of trail I've never done um, by campsites five and six. Almost did that one, but I wanted to come over here and do this. Nice, nice hike though. My toes are finally starting to warm up. Some days they just don't, even if I'm running. Well, I can see the road. I still have a good ways to walk down the road to get to my truck. If you guys like this video, leave a comment down below or hit that like button. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this in the future if you're not already and hit that little notification bell. This was a fun one. Slept good, had great food. No, nothing really went wrong. I mean, my feet were cold, but they are finally warm now. Everything's working out great. It was nice to get the uh, Waymark gear uh, pack out here, get a few more miles on it. I'm at about six miles in for the day. So that with the fanny pack here, uh, it's doing good. It's not a bad little setup. It's nice to actually have some decent weight in the backpack also. So from Mohican State Forest, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.